This is the Halty Winter Podcast. My name is Seth Winterhalter, the host here and the owner, the founder of Halting Winter. Uh, we exist to help business owners align their products and their teams toward a clear mission in order for them to scale and soar. If you are a business owner and you're trying to figure out how do I get this thing off the ground, we've had some success. We're, we're, we're alive and we're, 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 we're heading somewhere. We're not sure where that is. Uh, But we're trying to figure that out. We're trying to get more clarity on where we're going, and we're trying to figure out how to grow, how to become uh, more profitable, more effective in what you are setting out to do. Well, that's what we do. We help you. And number one, we help you by clarifying the most important thing we think uh, that every business needs, and that is a mission statement. And not a mission statement, and the reason why you, you might say, oh, that's dumb, you know why you say that? Because your mission statement currently is probably dumb. Your mission statement and most mission statements of both businesses and organizations are absolutely worthless. They, they are something that um, one person or a board created uh, that makes them all feel good, but it does not give any direction. It does not give any urgency. It does not give any clarity as to where the business is going in the short term. And by short term, I mean like one or two years. I believe... A good business, a good mission statement for a business, should be achievable within two years. Otherwise, it's too far out. It's too distant. There's too many things that could change and come up and derail. And so it must give clarity for the team to come in in a row, day by day, week by week, and to see measurable success as they get closer and closer to that mission. And so go back to the earlier podcast, uh, two podcasts ago, and listen to the intro on mission statements. What is a mission statement? How it should be simple and memorable and exciting. Uh, Listen to that. Then then the last one we talked about then when you have a mission statement, what you need then are are two more elements. You need key behaviors, key characteristics. So we talked about that. What what are key characteristics? This is what the behaviors that the team embodies. So when you go to hire people, you know the people to hire. It's not just the people who have experience. It's not just the people who have degrees. It's the people that embody specific behaviors that those behaviors will lead towards the accomplishment of that mission. It's the behaviors that you want your business uh, to, 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 to have when you engage clients, when, when you engage the, the, the world around you, those things will lead toward a successful mission statement. So you have the mission statement itself, you have the behaviors, the key behaviors or characteristics of your team, and now today you have critical actions. What are the critical actions that must be taken to achieve consistency and momentum toward achieving the mission. Critical actions are the actions, daily, weekly, that must be taken by the team to create consistency, to create momentum, so that you can achieve the mission. They, these actions must do three things. They must contribute to the mission. We just said, right? They must create a consistency and momentum toward achieving. Well, they have to contribute to the mission. If the mission is we need to right make X dollars, buy this for this, why? You know, again, we go back and listen to the first mission statement. The 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 actions have to contribute to it. They, They they cannot be actions that will contribute to a side quest. They cannot be actions that contribute to something that we might do it sometime. They, they cannot be actions that contribute to the vision. Maybe you have a vision, right? A, a, an organi- a, a nonprofit, a, a church has a vision. They want the world to be saved. But guess what? That's not happening in two years. Th- their vision can't be, we want to see our city transformed. That, that's not a two-year vision. A two-year vision could be, we're a church of 100 now, we want to be a church of 250 in two years. Okay, now it's becoming more realistic. Now you can actually take steps to figure out, you can scale, you can reverse engineer that to go, how do we get there? A business can do the same. We make X right now, we want to make X in two years. We want to deliver or sell so many products. We want to... Whatever it is, right? You, that's what you got to figure out. What's the mission statement? But the critical actions then, every day, the actions you're taking need to be contributing to that mission. 
This is why that mission has to be simple and memorable so your employees can ask themselves, are the actions I'm taking contributing to the mission? And that's why when they do a review, you can say, hey, you know, these are good actions. They're just, they're not critical actions. They're actions that led to a side quest. They're, they're actions that led to something that could be at the expense of what is, of what we're rowing together. Number two not only, number one, they contribute to the mission, but these critical actions need to be a symbolic way of life. The, the, these, these critical actions need to be something that we embody so that when we come in day by day, these are the things that we do. These are the things we know we're going to be a part of. So we don't complain about these actions. We don't push against these actions. This is what we do. It's a part of our DNA. They're the critical actions we take to make sure that we're staying on track. Remember, a mission statement tells you the specific destination that you're going to get to, but there are waypoints along the way. And these critical actions make sure that you're staying on the path to hit those critical waypoints. If you don't have waypoints along the way, you're putting a lot of hope that you're just going to end up to where you want to be. Critical actions allow you to have a way of life so that week by week you know that you're on the path. The critical actions must, number one, contribute to the mission. Number two, they must be a symbolic way of life. Number three, they must be repeatable. They must be repeatable. They're, they're not actions that are, 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 are some huge, you know, we're going to have an annual conference to, to make sure that we rah-rah ourselves to the mission. That is not a critical action. That, that is, right? Because it's not, it's repeatable, but it's too, it's too far out. If your, mission, if your mission statement is a mission that's going to be accomplishable in two years, you can't have a one meeting to create momentum and another to celebrate it. You're not going to make it happen. So these are repeatable actions that happen week by week. Repeatable actions that are critical in making sure that you stay on the path. So at Business Made Simple, again, this is Donald Miller's company of which uh, Halting Winter uses their frameworks. We, uh, I'm a certified coach of Business Made Simple, therefore, uh, and why is because I love their frameworks. I love what Donald has created. And I've used similar frameworks for the last 20 years in the businesses that I've founded, in the organizations that I've founded and led and been a part of. Uh, these are very similar frameworks that I've used. And so now Donald's just done a great job of boiling them down, of simplifying them. And so uh, I've teamed up with Donald and the Business Made Simple team to use these. And so if you work with us, uh, if you've heard of Business Made Simple, it will be, um, you'll have familiarity with it. If you haven't worked with them, then that's fine. You will get to know them. They are, it's an incredible framework that gives you just very easy to understand guidance and how to build and scale your business. So at Business Made Simple, uh, they have three critical actions. Number one, they do a daily stand-up. So again, this is that repeatable symbolic way of life. They just know that their their teams are going to have a daily stand-up meeting to accomplish some things. Now, it doesn't even say in the critical actions what those things are. They just want, because they want to be clean. They don't want to say a daily stand-up meeting where we do X, Y, and Z. No, because again, that daily stand-up meeting, the X, Y, and Z may change depending on what needs to happen to make that mission. So, so you want to be clear but you don't want to be so defined that it's, then you got to go and change it. Like they have a daily standup. That daily standup is going to accomplish the team to be on the same page to be able to move forward. They have a daily standup. Number two, they double check their work. Their critical action is to double check our work. Why? Because it's easy to make errors. And so they know that. So they say, hey, one of our critical actions is we're just going to double check it because we want to make sure it's excellent. We want to make sure if it goes out that we have done the diligence to make sure that it's gone out the right way. Now, it doesn't mean we're going to not have errors, but the likelihood of saving ourselves because we double checked, it's going to save us time. It's going to save us frustration. So we have a daily stand up. We double check our work. And number three, we spread the word. Why do, what does that mean? We spread the word. They tell you everyone deserves the tools they need to build the business of their dreams. That's the word that they spread. Everyone deserves the tools they need to build the business of their dreams. So that motto is just instilled in every team member there. So they're gonna spread the word, whether that's with new clients they're talking about, whether it's possible clients, whether that's just 
on the street. Hey, what do you do? I work for Business Made Simple. Oh, yeah, what, what is Business Made Simple? Well, we believe everyone deserves the tools they need to build the business of their dreams. Wow, that's kind of compelling. So, so you guys have the tools? We have the tools. Wow. Well, man, I know someone who has a business and maybe they need some help. I know they're struggling, right? Like, are your critical actions leading you to the mission? They have a daily stand-up because they want to achieve the mission, so they need to be on the same page to know that what they're doing is achieving that. They want to double-check their work because if they do that, it's going to take out frustration and error so that they are on track to reach the mission. They want to spread the word because the mission is to help businesses, to give businesses the tools they need to build the business of their dreams. So that critical action is moving the mission forward to help more business owners. Does that make sense? Does it make sense that your critical actions then you need to be the key, consistent drivers that build momentum to achieve the mission. So you have a mission statement, simple, memorable, exciting. You have key behaviors that the team is going to embody day by day. And you're going to have critical actions that the team takes to bring the mission to reality. That is what we do at Halting Winter to help businesses align their products and teams. We help create that clear and compelling mission. Because when you have a clear and compelling mission, your teams and your products will not only be aligned, but they will have purpose and intentionality to help you be able to be able to grow, be able to be able to uh, scale and then be able to soar. It's one thing to scale, but it's another thing to scale and soar. And what I mean by that is, again, a bird is not soaring when it's flapping. It's soaring when the wings are extended and it's just flying. And that's what we want your business to be. Enjoyable, breathtaking, purposeful, intentional. We want your business to soar. And we believe we can help. And so... If you are in need of a mission statement, if you're in need of that process to work through key behaviors and critical actions, we would love to help. Hit us up, haltingwinter.com. Uh, we would love to do um, give you the tool of a free business assessment. We'd love to uh, have a time to work with you on that and to give you insights and, and to maybe see if we can help you scale and soar uh, to new heights and to new places. Again, this is Seth Winteralter, Halting Winter. Check us out, haltingwinter.com. Until next time.